Welcome to Wonder Junction Day 3 Science. This experiment is called Weather the Storm. Oh, out in the Old West, they had a lot of weather that they had to deal with, so we're going to teach the kids a little bit about weather today. Um, they're going to learn some terms, relative humidity, they're going to learn how a supercell forms and even a tornado, how that forms. So, about lightning and thunder, which one comes first, you can ask the kids. And it actually is the lightning, which is the rapid movement displacement of air. And then that makes the boom, which is the thunder. So all that lightning is, is um, static charge being discharged. So have you ever rubbed a balloon on your head and your hair kind of stood up? I'm going to let Matthew show you this. Rub, rub, rub. Now pull it away a little bit and let's see if your hair sticks up. There you go. <laughs> That is a static charge. Same thing that lightning is made out of. It's just made out of a whole lot more than that. So in the experiment part, one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to notice the condensation developing on the outside of a glass pitcher or something uh, that's holding very cold water in it. And you can ask them questions like, hmm, do you think this glass is leaking? And, to let them know that there is moisture in the air. So if they are unable to see the moisture, they could even take a little piece of tissue and put the tissue on there and, and see that there was indeed moisture on the outside. The other thing is we're gonna be talking about some convection currents uh, and how the cold air sinks and the warm air rises and then it will continue to circulate like that. And this is where some of the really bad storms come in. So we've got cold water here with blue for cold. And I'm going to put a little bit of this hot water in there and see, now they are going to mix some, so you have to pour slowly, but we're going to see that the majority of the cold will stay toward the bottom and the majority of the hot will tend to stay towards the top just due to the convection currents. So the kids aren't going to do this part. This part is going to be a demonstration. So I'm gonna put a pour off of this spoon so that I don't splash everywhere. And if you look closely, you should be able to see that the bottom is staying the darker blue color and the top is a little bit lighter because of the water up there is a little warmer. So there you have day three, weather the storm. This is the second experiment for day three of Wonder Junction, and it's called Power Play. This one um, will eventually get us to talking about another of the natural wonders of the world, which is Victoria Falls. But before we get to that, we're going to talk about the way that the people in the Old West would have gotten their power. So a lot of them used a water wheel. And what they would do is they would put this at a stream or a river and when the water would flow through there it would turn the wheel and they would have a shaft coming out that would be attached to either saws for a lumber mill or slabs for a grain mill and they would get power that way. Um, also they used and some people actually still use in rural areas windmills. So um, for the kids to experiment we have pinwheels. And what they're going to do on this day is we give them multiple instructions on how to blow on their pinwheel and see, is there a better way? Is there a worse way? Blow from the front, from the back, from the bottom, from the top. So they're just going to experiment and see how different areas of the windmill, which is their pinwheel, is going to affect how much rotation they can get on this, okay? So I did want to give you all a quick tip when we do RVBS at our church, we have a lot of kids and having a lot of pinwheels just loose is crazy. So what I did is I bought one of those graded covers that goes over a fluorescent light and I cut them into strips. And we usually have 10 kids at a table and there are 10 pinwheels on this. So that's just a tip if you want to use it or not. Um, also, this, this lesson is going to give them information about Victoria Falls, just how much water does go over there. 
uh, per day in the rainy season, and it is a huge amount. So you could even show an empty gallon jug or a gallon jug of water and explain to them how many gallons are going over the falls every day. So uh, that was the second experiment for day three, power play.